Hi, today I have for you something different, no the lunar module, back to command module again, this is NAVS version 8 alpha, and I will be showing you the transposition and docking, however we will do this on the Earth orbit, not during the TLI, let me show you how it, how it looks. So, the first thing, RCS must be working. RCS must be working and uh, I think we got it right now just to check the uh, which is we set all of this to zero we already have this at zero so this is okay to do not disturb uh, us we gonna switch this to one this to the GDC and we will just got the one FDAI and we will push the GDC align soon because this will be our helper this will, the GDC will be helping us to align the spacecraft properly and it won't disturb the IMU, don't worry GDC is completely separate from IMU so it won't disturb our normal guidance we set the logic uh, for the sequential element control system and arm for the pyros and set the switches also to up position and now we got the everything working uh, RCS is able to provide the propulsion for our translations we set this to delta V and to the normal because this would be another helper it will help us with the velocity so, we got everything set, we push the GDC align and wait for the gyro set to zero and immediately after this press the CM CSM launch with separation separation is done if co in case when you fail this you have to just check uh, all the separation uh, you know all the separation switches and now we checking the circuit breakers that are pushed because we will need it to separate CM M from the oops the LM from the stage. So now we go to the translation. translation. We do a little barn forward. Just to separate from our Oh no 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 this way, no this way. <laughs> that was a failure. And that was funny. Okay, we just skip this line separately. Okay, and now we do the rotation, teach up maneuver. It should be fast, so we won't get misaligned because it may. Oops, I have forgotten the probe circuit breaker. We need to set this to extend it. So I forgot the caution warning. Again. Okay, and set this to off and guard the switch. As you can see, we are slowly aligning. And let's get back to FDAI. And uh, we have to be uh, 180. Yes, 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 come on, come on, come on. And we are about right. So, it's now time to set this to uh, error scale high, so we want, we will see this precisely, and now we have to make a rotation. Let's do this quick, let's set the coas here, and we have to have this aligned, right way up T. I'm not sure if it should be right way up or it should be upside down. Okay, and now we are translating. We are making the translation and translation forward. We are translating sideways, so we have to terminate the rotation now. So we set this to as close as possible to the center. We have to terminate all those rotations and we have to pitch this a little up because it's a little misaligned. 
it's important to get things aligned because this is the center and so we will be getting the translation uh, to make sure we won't mean this okay and this alignment isn't that big right now it's just a little misalignment it isn't perfect but I think we can go with this one it's just a simulation it's not horrible it's not good of course no no it's a little too bad so I have to translate the left until we get this red and uh, grey T aligned and then we will be able we will be stopping the rotation right now ok translate, translate, translate rotate to get the right way up ok, translation, translation and forward, forward forward my RCS budget isn't happy with my manual type. Oh, almost there. Break a little. And... I think we got it. Let's check this uh, on the... Oh, yeah! The uh, barber pole. We got it right. And as you can see, this, here is our attitude for the maneuver. Turn this off. And now retract and primary. And as soon as they go gray, we can set the this to off and this to center. And now we have to disarm the probe and extract the lunar module. Again, the circuit breakers have to be pushed. I remind you again because this is important. Press this the switch and well. We got it. And now we got the lunar module extracted. So I just gonna show you how to pressurize the tunnel and the lunar module. In case if uh, there is any problem with this. Uh, have to open this valve. This gauge is showing the differential pressure. It is this valve right here is connected to the tunnel and by selecting various positions we can select various uh, uh, to what we want to connect this pipe that is connected to this valve and it's connected to the tunnel. So in the off the tunnel is sealed. Lunar module press provides emergency pressurization of this. If this valve fail we can use this valve to pressurize the lunar module but if we use just this valve without this valve on the hatch it would take about 10 hours from what I was reading so if you only use this valve to pressurize the lunar module it will be bad it will take a long time if we switch this to this position it, the, this pipe is connected to the delta, pre, delta P uh, instrument which is so showing us differential pressure between interior of the command module and the tunnel and if we set this to vent we are venting the tunnel to the atmosphere and we do this before undocking venting is also slow of course because this uh, valve uh, is uh, very low there is very low flow to this valve to the fastest possible pressurization at the theory we set this to open at this to LM press them. We have to wait a long time, unfortunately, yes, this is a long waiting until we get this pressurized. So I think it would be good to set this to the entry at burst because uh, the carbine air will be going to the LM tunnel and we will get uh, we will be losing cabin pressure so those valves has to replenish this uh, pressure we got a little over pressurization of the cabin it's a little above what we used to know, uh, see so that is why 
our uh, uh, O2 flow isn't high yet. It's pretty low because uh, the pressure regulators are closing because uh, the pressure has to drop enough so those uh, valves will open on the pressure regulators and this will start to go up. So if you have a situation where you see this gauge is uh, showing low low flow it's not an issue you have to wait enough time so the cabin pressure has the time to drop the valve has time to open so that's uh, the remarks let's take a look if it have pressurized oh it's almost free so it's pressurizing 